What is good everybody, it is E-Red, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode 10 of Legends in the NFL Today, where we take a legend and bring him into the NFL Today. Now as you can see by the screen, we are 5-4, and four. we just came off a big win against the New England Patriots, Joe Namath had a wild game, if you haven't seen that, highly suggest uh, checking the previous video in the playlist, but yeah, this week we're going against the 1-8 Dolphins, hopefully this is a cakewalk and hopefully we get a W going into our bye week. I mean, we started off rough, we picked it back up, and now we're over 500. We're first in the division. So, without further ado, let's get right on to this gameplay, and hopefully, we get it done. All right, so picking this back up halfway into the first quarter, Miami managed to get down the field, get three points, and now here we are on offense. Woo! Starting off with a dot. Good throw, Joe. So, yeah, it was kind of wild last week. Joe Namath, I believe, was Offensive Player of the Week. He had a really, really good game, which I was very proud about. And, honestly, we didn't turn the ball over. And every game we don't turn the ball over, honestly, has pretty much been a W. Or, more importantly, it's put us in the best positions to win. So, this week is going to be no different. We're going to make a conscious effort to make sure we're being safe with the ball. And obviously, I know that seems kind of obvious. You're like, yeah, of course, e you want to take care of the ball. But it's not always that easy. Sometimes you end up games where you feel like you got to be a little risky and you make bad decisions. So it's about being aware and not making those bad decisions as we're three for three. With that being said, we're in the third and nine situation. We got verticals called. Woo! And that's cold. We're getting the first down. Keeping our momentum and this drive alive. Oh, man, it's crazy because we've upgraded Joe Namath, and honestly, the way he's been playing has been better and better as we've gone game by game. As Le'Veon actually gets a nice little four-yard gain. I like it. Second and five. Also, this game feels like it should be a cakewalk. Like, we are going against this Miami team. Oh, woo! Look at the wheels. <laughs> that was pretty nice. But we are going against a Miami team that is one and eight. Low-key, that was probably the longest rush of the season that we've had. Woo! Let's go! Another good throw! Taking it down to the six. Let's go, Mr. Namath. First and goal, we're starting out with a stick concept. Whoop! Oh, and a bad drop. One thing I do love about our team, they're always ready to throw the ball, and we got slants called. Always a good play call. Woo! Let's go! Getting the touchdown, and we got the lead. Take that, Miami! All right, well, no, honestly, I did not expect the game to be going like this, but here we are. Oh, God, he came screaming off the edge. We're on the 25-yard line. We just had to throw out of a sack. Whoop. Oh, good throw. All right, not bad. Making it a little more manageable. All right, now we got a little RPO called. We got a stretch to the right with a slant on the backside. Let's see how it looks. Let's go. Oh, my God, Le'Veon Bell had a gap. I'm glad he got the first, but, oh, man, giving me, stressing me out, bro. Another first and 10. We got Z spot. I see Bashan Perriman coming over the middle. Oh, God. Woo! That was a little risky. I probably should have thrown the corner. That's something that I do have to work on. Sometimes I get a little premeditated with the reads. Uh, Got to read the defense. Woo! As we start off with this. Oh, my God. Not good. Right now it's third and 12. We really got to find a way to get this if we can. But I don't want to force anything. Oh, God. Oh, X was about to be open. Oh, our line held up. All right, just shout out to playing it smart. We actually get the ball back pretty much two minutes later. Still in the second quarter. Still only a three-point game. I'm good with that. However, that run play I'm absolutely not good with. Anyway, now it is second and 13. Uh, oh, I want to throw that away. I didn't want to force it. Ah, uh, bad sack to take. All right, third and 27. No guarantees about what we'll get on this, but ho hopefully. Uh-oh. Let's go. Let's go. That's how you convert that, baby. Joe Namath on a rope, my guy. All right, we crossed midfield. That was a big momentum shift. Let's keep the momentum going. Woo. Let's go. Way to move in the pocket. Did you see the little step up? That was pretty nice. All right, so this is probably going to be one of the last plays before the two-minute warning. Let's see how we can do this. Whoop. Oh, God. Oh, God, bad sack to take. But it's the two-minute now. I'm definitely aware that there were people open. I probably should have got rid of that ball sooner. But second and 18. Let's go. Touchdown. Woo. Here we got a lead right after the two-minute warning. I'll take it. And we get the ball to start the second half. That's how you get momentum, guys. 
All right, so it seems like Miami just turned the ball over on the 26 yard line. We got a minute and 14, all of our timeouts. Let's start the drive. Let's start the drive. Oh my God, we get one yard or lose one. Not the start that we wanted, but it is what it is. Oh God, try and go get up. Whoop. Oh God, I was trying to force it to Le'Veon. Third and 10, they actually wanted us to run the ball, but I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to do that. Why would I do that? Let's go. Good throw. Timeout. And yeah, I know that was a little bit disrespectful to my coach. You know, he's trying to tell us to run the ball. But no, man, you got to have some faith in your boy. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Yo, I don't know what it is, but our coach is not calling the same, like, level of good plays that he was prior. Uh, oh, God. Oh, and we're not blocking the same neither. I don't know if it's the rain or something else, but that is not good. So actually now we're just going to run the ball. See what Le'Veon can do with it. And hopefully get the ball at start the second half with still having a four-point lead. All right. So we ended up not causing ourselves a lead or anything like that. I will take it. Oh, I was going to throw a pick. Thank God that ball didn't actually go where I was throwing it. Yo, our play call has been absolutely garbage. Yo, it's been like screen and like these awkward whip routes. Like, can we just call something else, please? I mean, even that screen, like, to get five yards, like, can we get five wide? It low-key feels like I'm playing against the coach and, and the Dolphins, and I do not like it. Not one bit. Let's go. Thank God Le'Veon is such a reliable receiver, because with no run game, we'd be really be, like, at a disadvantage. First and ten, RPO bubble. We're running it. And losing yards as per usual. All right, second and 11. I feel like there's going to be a blitz. So you got to throw hot. Get the first. Let's go. Crowder getting, getting some nice catches. All right, first and 10. Another RPO bubble called. Hopefully. Oh, my God. I threw it. But I, I wish that they would have blocked that better. Anyway, another second and long situation. Uh, I think we got that. Woo! Good throw. That was a nice pass lead. Taking it across midfield. Crowder's been having a game, and usually we're it's like we feed it to the tight end more than anything else. So I'm, I'm glad to see it. But now it's a first and ten. I really want to. Ooh, another pass to Crowder. Another first down. Yo, way to do your thing, my guy. Now we're on the 16. This possession has been going really well. A field goal keeps it at lead at a touchdown lead. Let's do it. Whoop. Let's go. I'm proud of myself. I actually read the defense this time. Woohoo. I knew we had man. I knew the corner route would get open. Now, Le'Veon, bring us home. Bring us home. Did he get it? Yo, Le'Veon, stick the ball out. Yo, my coach is funny. He was like, all right, forget it. We're just going to throw the ball. And I'm honestly, I get it. Like, I, I really do. Woo. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I wanted to throw it, but I was afraid. Yo, I wish there was a way that, like, I mean, if Joe Namath had escape artists, it'd really be over. But, whoop. Let's go, but I got Jamison Crowder. Another touchdown, a three-touchdown game for my boy. J oh, no, well, three touchdowns for my boy Joe Namath. Jamison Crowder got two. Yo, Broadway Joe came to play yet again. Let's do it, man. Here we are in the fourth quarter. We're only up by three. We need another long drive, hopefully where we get points. Le'Veon running hard. I like it. Second and four. Our coach is trusting us to sling that rock a little bit. Always good. Oh, no, bad interception. No, really bad interception. Oh, I forced that slant. That's on me. Wow. And I think Miami tried to go for it, and wrongly so. We got the ball back. What luck. Woo. Wow. Now we're crossing midfield. Thank I'm grateful that we didn't get punished for that one. I also love that my coach is going to still let us throw the ball. Still keep the ball in my hands as a thrower, but, man, I almost put the whole game in jeopardy. I really almost did. That's cold. Jamison Crowder with a one-hand grab, too. Our goal on this drive, ironically, is to not throw an interception. Between two games, I have eight touchdowns and one interception. I mean, that's not bad, right? Like, cut me some slack for one bad throw. But with that being said, we are also in field goal range, so something to be cognizant of. All right. We let the clock drip down a little bit. Let's go. Did Crowder get it? Oh, he dropped it. 
That was definitely not what I was expecting. But third and seven. Let's go. Oh, Le'Veon doesn't break a tackle. I guess we're going to have to stick for three on this, but I'm okay with it. All right, this is honestly not how I expected to see this game to go. We are down by one. Not good. Oh, God. And I was going to throw another interception. Thank God I got hit. I'm really okay with just running the clock out and just kicking a field goal if we can. Oh, God. Oh, God. Throw it away. Third and ten. We're in a weird situation here. Let's go. A good throw, I hope. No. Wow. I think we got to punt this away. All right. Under two minutes left in the game. Fourth quarter time. We got to be clutch. We got to be clutch. And that's a start. First down. Yeah, I don't know what is good with this play call. How, look, how do we end up running a play action, man? Oh, goodness. The clock is ticking. I'm not happy about the play call. Hopefully Crowder can get open on this. Let's go. Let's go. Timeout. We're on the 42-yard line. 49 seconds. Let's see how this goes. Woo! Le'Veon. Oh, we might have to no huddle one more time. All right, 30 seconds left. Oh, God. Oh, and we get hit under pressure. All right, one of the old reliable plays. 33, we have crossers called. Let's go. And guess who it is? Oh, we have one more chance. Actually, timeout. Right now, we're on the 43-yard line. All we need to do is get out of bounds, and we essentially have gotten the field goal range. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh-oh. I'm going to throw it away. No, we got to spike it. I don't think we have enough time. No! No, and we just ran out of time, and we end up losing to the 1-8 Dolphins, man. How could we do that? Oh, what an awful way to lose. All right, so we're going to take a look at the stats like we always do. Namath, 108 pack QB rating, outdid Tua. 29 completions, outdid him. 41 attempts. I mean, yeah, you know, that's never that great to be throwing the ball that often, but we can't run. More yards, a higher complete percentage, more touchdowns, one interceptions, and a 45-yard uh, pass was our longest. I, I'm curious about the defense. Like, like we were sacked two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five, and another half. We were sacked almost six times, man. When the defense is playing like that and we're getting under, like, duress like that, and I'll be honest, that play call was booty. Like, we had a bootleg on one of our calls in a two-minute drill. Like, we're trying to get down the field. Oh, man, it's really frustrating to lose a game, especially in that manner. But you know what? We take our losses. We're still first in the division at 5-5. Five and five, But losing to a 1-8 Dolphins, especially a team in our division, is never a good sight. But we're going to not hang our heads. We're not going to hang our heads. We got a bye week. Hopefully, we get our rematch against Miami next week. We blow them out and embarrass them for the disrespect they just put on our name. But I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe. All those good things, all the support, it means... A ton of me as I am trying to grow the channel. We're almost at 100. So if you can show just a wee bit of support, it'll be greatly appreciated. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Deuces.